as you can tell, the morning light, guys. Bright and early. Ain't that right, Pops? Fucking sucks. <laughs> but, guys, we are on our way to the first stop. There's, there's only two garage sales we're hitting, so it's not going to be a lot, but uh, it's something. And, plus, guys, make sure you guys bring your masks and gloves if you guys want to, just to be safe. So... But yeah, we're gonna be uh, we're gonna be getting there in a few, and we'll see you then. Guys, guys, we just passed some like some smelling ass shit. This is out in the fucking hollers of Kentucky, guys. <laughs> and we just smelled a fucking shitty ass, stinking ass skunk. Pops, what you think about the skunk smell? Man, fuck that skunk smell. Just fine. It's a fucking yard sale. Hard, uh, hard knocks to Crispin Wall Story. Yeah. How's the discs? That's the real problem. Mm. Not the best in the world. Mm. Is the second disc even there? It's in there. How's that? It's just a bit bad. Oof. That would have been a good find. Yeah, could have been. Yep. Hey, Joey. Hey, Joey. Tommy, did we just score at that uh, garage sale or what? Oh, uh, it was the mother load. It was the mother load. Pops didn't buy anything, of course, though, but... Uh, yeah, but I'm throwing out the mother load. Oh, God. And there... Uh, but guys, we're on our, we're all, we're on our way to the, our second one. Sorry, we couldn't get a lot of footage at that one. It's just kind of hard trying to film at a garage sale. But you got some kind of footage, and we got some really good stuff. And of course, we're gonna do a recap at the end of, at, at the end of the video. So you'll see that. Sorry if the wind's blowing, but yeah, it's hot. It's hot. Hello everybody and welcome to another exciting installment of Wrestling Rampage. The two amigos are back in this bitch. That's right. And guys, we're going to be showing a recap portion of stuff that we picked up at the yard sale. Uh, we are wearing different t-shirts because... This, uh, the footage that you guys seen before this was uh, filmed about a week ago, Yeah. but, but because of the uh, global pandemic that we have going on right now, you know, we didn't want to handle the stuff, and this is about a week later that we're filming this recap portion, but we, we kept it away. Yeah, we kept it away so that we could stay safe during this uh, yeah. trying time, and guys, uh, usually we don't hit, hit uh, well, we don't hit really good yard sales. Yeah. Um, unless we just find something, you know, rather just, uh... Well, usually if we do hit yard sales, we either hit five ten-cent pencil or pin man. <laughs> or Whittle Basket. Or the Whittle Basket one. <laughs> That's right. But Tommy, ten, uh, well, a week ago, <laughs> yeah. we picked up a smorgasbord of things. And Tommy has a Kroger bag right there. So, yeah. uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, my, my, mine's the thank you, uh, gracias. <laughs> Thank you, gracias. <laughs> All right, let's show you guys some of the stuff that we got here. Um, and uh, uh, I, I will tell you how much the average eBay price of this stuff is. Um, a lot of the, guys, a lot of the stuff that we picked up from, we went to three garage sales that day. One had nothing. Yeah. The, well, sorry, the first one had all this stuff. The yeah. second one had nothing, and the third one had one item that yeah. you picked up. 
Other than that, that was it. That was it. Um, that was that was it. Yeah, that was it. And uh, I mean, we will have to do some cleaning on on a lot of this stuff because it was out and fucking you know there was ants and shit everywhere. Yeah. And, <laughs> what they're uh, trying to say, BFE. Yeah, and also um, uh, we actually seen a Chris Benoit. Uh, Hard Knocks DVD. We were gonna buy it, yeah. but uh, it was uh, it was really scratched up. Yeah, really scratched horrible. up. Horrible, horrible condition. So we left that behind. But a lot of the other stuff was in decent shape. And because if it was in good shape, I would have picked that up. I seen some X original Xbox controllers, which I kind of really need. But uh, one of them was broken. One like, was chewed up. Uh, one was chewed up and like. The, the, the case was cracked on it. One had a hole in it and the fucking free cord. And I go, ah, fuck all that. <laughs> so That's a hazard waiting to happen. <laughs> yeah, so, so, so I just left it there. Um, I'll show you just a couple of things that I got here. Um, I got this Mad Cat's uh, Sega Dreamcast controller. It's called a, it's called a Dream Pad. Um... It, it is a little dirty. I will have to clean it up and stuff. But uh, uh, these sell for like ten dollars on eBay. So, uh, and I didn't really pay much for this. Uh, I will tell you, we will tell you the end price. Yeah. Everything that we picked up was like three dollars or less. Can we say we bundled? We did bundle, so uh, we got a pretty good uh, little price on some of this stuff. So I don't know what the C and Z button does, and I made sure all the all the buttons at least uh, push in and push out and everything, and they do so. This controller should be good after I get it all nice and clean. So that's like a $10 controller. That's not bad. Plus, it actually holds pretty well. Yeah. <laughs> um, we got a little HDMI little cord. Uh, this was just a little throw-in that I had. These usually sell for like $5 on eBay. I got it for like a buck. It was, <laughs> it was, pretty, it was pretty cheap. Well, you can always use those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can, you, we can always use some, uh, some cords. Um... <clears throat> We have, uh, for the Nintendo DS, The Price is Right. I love The Price is Right. Uh, what the hell did I have The Price on this? $7 complete on eBay sold. And by the way, these are average sold uh, on eBay that we're yeah. going by. Um, and it is complete. So, uh, ignore the uh, the $5 sticker in the corner. <laughs> it's not because we did pay $5 for it. Um... We have a uh, Deal or No Deal, which my son loves Deal or No Deal. Uh, about $5, which is what, it's what it says in the court. It's about a $5 game. Yeah, he'll wear that game out playing it. Uh, complete. So that's always nice. Um, Transformers, The Revenge of the Fallen. Uh, dis, uh, what is it? Depicons? Depicabons? Whatever fucking it is. Uh, it's a fucking Transformers game. I thought I thought it'd be all right. The Transformers game, it's not Decepticon. 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 Okay. Pops knows apparently, but <laughs> it is missing the manual. But uh, it is about a what the hell did I have it as here? Eight dollars on eBay average price, and it came with a bonus game. Great bonus game. Yeah. Sesame Street, <laughs> Ready Saint Grover. <laughs> I never heard of that. Extra game. Extra game involved. And actually, that game costs loose. It's about a $7 game. And I was like, why the fuck is it a $7 game? That's what I want to know. I'm going I'm to I'm 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 talk to people about that. Uh, Tommy's favorite pickup that I got <laughs> for the Nintendo DS. <laughs> Crosswords DS. <laughs> is, well, I love that you picked up that one. It is complete. I, I can't wait for this. It is complete. Hey guys, <laughs> it sells on eBay complete. Four bucks. <laughs> How much did you pay? Uh, I think I paid like two, two or three dollars for it, something like that. I, I did a really good, good deal. Of it. <laughs> actually, there. I, actually, if anything, I should have just left this one there. <laughs> but yeah, I said fuck it. I was gonna buy it. This was the game he 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 that he was thinking about leaving. He should did leave it. Yeah, Big I, money. I should I should have left it. And then and then just digging through like some of the little. Because they have like little baskets there and stuff. Yeah. I came across this Game Boy Color game, which is pretty cool to find. Uh, X-Men Wolverine's Rage. Came out in 2001 for the Game Boy Color. This is a... <clears throat> let's see if I got it wrote down here. 
eight dollars average eBay price on eBay for for the uh, for the little cartridge only. So that that, that was a pretty good uh, score there. Tommy showed me this one. Yep. For the original PlayStation WWF Attitude, which I do not have for the PS One. I have it for uh, I have it for Dreamcast, but I don't have it for PS One. Uh, it is complete. Me, I have it. Yeah, he has it. It is complete with manual. Disc is in pretty good condition. I mean, there are some light scratches on it, but you would expect that. Um, I don't know why this went up in price. This used to be like a three, four dollar game. It's about an eight dollar game now. Complete. And I'm gonna be honest, the game sucks. Know. Yeah, the game sucks, but it was there. <laughs> and it's wrestling. And it's wrestling. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and dig out some of the rest of this stuff because kind of hard to get to and we actually found some really good stuff as well oh yeah um as far as just uh at just finding stuff at a, at a, at a garage sale yard sale because usually i don't usually we never really find anything we don't find stuff very often but i didn't find anything yeah plus didn't find nothing but uh i'm pretty sure soon he will yeah uh for the ps4 uh, Batman 3, well, Lego Batman 3, Beyond Gotham. Um, I got this for my son, because he likes Lego Batman games, so I figured it'd be a cool little thing to get for him. Uh, it does have some scratching on it, but I'm pretty sure it should play. Um, you know, I think, I, I think I got it for like three bucks, but, um, this is a ten dollar game on eBay, so. There you go. I figured, ah, uh, not bad. Uh, for the PS3, the only PS3 game that I found there, which was kind of odd, um, Fantastic Four, The Rise of the Silver Surfer. So, what was it on here? $8 average eBay sold price of this game, complete. Pretty good condition. Now, once again, I will have to clean some of this because, you know, some of it is kind of grody. Yeah. <laughs> um... A surprise one in a PS3 case. Don't understand why, but it is. Um, this is for the original PlayStation. It is Spyro 2 Rip was it Ripto's Rage, which I actually own Spyro Ripto's Rage on the PS1 already. I got I got a complete copy. I found it at Goodwill for two bucks or a dollar or something like that. And I seen this at uh, this yard sale, and it's sitting in this case with a dollar sticker on it. And that's how much it was. A lot of this stuff we bought for like a dollar, two dollars, three dollars. I, I don't think there was anything that we bought that was over three dollars. So yeah, pretty good deal. Uh, disc only on eBay. Spyro sells for about ten bucks. Nice little score on that. Um, on the original Xbox, we have Splinter Cell, uh, Pandora Tomorrow. Guys, we put a, we hit a mega score on a lot of this stuff, guys. I mean, nothing like nothing that's going to blow your mind, but I'm, well, actually, there are, there are a few things that are kind of worth it. It's like, going to blow your mind. Yeah, it's going to blow your mind, like the fucking little rubble thing. But complete. Uh, average eBay price sold five bucks. You know, it is what it is. Something I can have in the collection. That one's actually a nice one. I'll hold off on that one. Um, for the PlayStation 2, uh, it is Ford Racing 3. Something I didn't have. So, um, complete. Not bad. Uh, PS2. How much the eBay price on that? Oh, that. $6. Average eBay price, 6 Did bucks. you do the Splinter Sale? Yep. 5 bucks. All right. Uh, on eBay? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I know. It didn't save a lot on that. Yeah. I didn't save a lot on this one either, but Pirates of the Caribbean at World's End. Now, this is, now this is the shitty part about it, is when I looked at it, I was like, cool. And then when I look at the back, it's a Hollywood fucking video yeah. case. And I go, son of a bitch. But, uh, uh it is complete, though. Uh, it does have, you know, it is the Hollywood fucking video. or what is, is that Hollywood video or is that a, yeah, it is Hollywood video. It says yeah. Hollywood Entertainment Corporation at the bottom. Go. Um, this sold on eBay, five bucks, you know, um, we got a couple other five dollar games here we're going to show you guys. Uh, Cabela's, uh, trophy box, in a horrible ass case, I will have to replace this case though, but, uh, 
it was there. <laughs> uh, it is complete. And uh, this is a $5 game as well, I believe. Yep, 5 bucks. Uh, plus, I actually have the gun to this game. Uh, so I can actually play the game with the gun. So, yeah. Because I found the gun at I found I found the gun at Goodwill like uh, about a year ago. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is something that my son might enjoy, so I picked it up. Um, for the Wii, it is Jenga World Tour. Uh, about a five dollar game on eBay. Nothing too special, but uh, you know Jenga's kind of fun when you play it with uh, with family. Yeah. So if you guys want to see us play. Uh, Jingo, let us know. Uh, and then we got, um, you know what, Tommy? I'm going to let you show a little bit of what you got. Because, uh, okay. uh, well, I will show them this real fast. For the PS2, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. Just didn't have it. $10 game complete. So, not bad. A lot of the PS2 games, Wii games, they were like $2 a piece. Um, the DS games were like 2 or $3 a piece. Didn't pay a lot for a lot of this stuff. Um, I do have a few of uh, hidden gems that I'm going to show you guys here in a minute. Uh, but I'm going to let Tommy show a little bit of what he got. And I got a hidden gem also. And Tommy's got a hidden gem also. This is just stuff that you need to look look out for if you're at a yard sale. Yeah. This is stuff you need to look at for yard sale. Alright. I'll go ahead and get this stuff first because the hidden gem is still in the bag here. Yeah. And yes, people always say... When the f does he ever buy any does, goddamn does thing? Does Tommy buy anything? Well, motherfuckers should finally buy stuff. Yeah. And he did it cheaply. Because that's the way Tommy Yeah, is. I'm a cheapskate motherfucker. I, I, you know the uh, the game chasers? I'm Jay on there. <laughs> You're Shady Jay. Yeah, I'm Shady Jay. I want shit from dear fucking cheap. Because speaking of cheap. Yeah, cheap. I got a WWF VHS tape. There was a WWF VHS tape. And it wasn't a dollar ninety nine either, so just ixnay that. Yeah, it does say a dollar ninety nine on it, but yeah. I, uh, what you want, fifty cents for it? Yeah, it's yeah. fifty cents. Yeah. Uh, WWF's most unusual matches ever. Which I already own this. Yeah, but and Tommy I don't. doesn't. And so. and it goes to the WWF, the VHS collection. Right? That's right. A little dirty there, but that could be used and cleaned up. Yeah, and it, Tommy. What's the great thing about this? What's the great thing? Well, first, let's read the great, most Go most ahead. unusual matches Go ever, ahead. supposedly. What? We got a lethal ladder match, Bret Hart versus Shawn Michaels. There you go. We got an infamous ten thousand dollar match, one two three kid versus Razor Ramon. Infamous, huh? Yes, it says infamous. Oh shit. We got Survivor Series nineteen ninety three, four Doinks versus Bam Bam Bigelow, Head Shrinkers, and Bastion Bugger. Dude, and then we got a fearless lumberjack match. Hacksaw Jim Duggan versus Shawn Michaels. And I love how it says unbelievable matches. <laughs> most outrageous specialties. And it says good time home video. Right <laughs> an hour long. Yeah, it's an hour long. You'll tell you what made me laugh. One is the writing on it. <laughs> There's some writing on it. It says from Al, Frank, and John. <laughs> and you know what else is funny? Have you guys ever check this out? Yeah. WF. Most yeah. unusual matches. It's, WF. It says WF, not WWF. WF. WF most unusual matches. So Al, Frank, and John, I have this shit. So it's mine now. <laughs> it's Tommy's now. The average eBay price for that VHS, about five bucks. Yeah. But for fifty cents. For fifty cents, I don't give a damn what VHS wrestling wise it is, you're gonna pick it up. Yeah. We uh there were a couple of boxes there, and we searched into. And this was the only it. wrestling thing that, they had yeah, there. Yeah, that was the only wrestling thing besides that WWF attitude yeah. that I found. So I was like, you know what? I don't have it. I'll pick it up. Yeah. So, WWF w w most unusual matches. WF. WF. All right. And I got this at the other yard sale. Yeah. This was the only one that you picked up at the yeah. other yard sale. He's back. Hubert. For PS One. For PS One. I'm, I'm starting to get some a lot of PlayStation games. Yeah. And it only cost, as you see on the yellow there, one dollar. One dollar. And it's in great shape. It's in perfect condition. The 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 the, the case is even in good shape. Yeah. There you go. And the worst part about it was this garage sale. We went to it on Saturday, right? And she was open on Friday. We didn't know until we got there. And that was the only game that was sitting on the table. She said we she had a lot her. more PlayStation yeah. games. Yeah, we asked her, we're like, do you have any other games? She goes, I did have some more PlayStation games, but uh, somebody already bought them yesterday. I go, son of a bitch. 
Yeah. So <laughs> we missed out. Yeah. And Cubert, it's in great shape. Perfect condition. Nice. Yeah. It's it's like it's never been fucking played. I, I already have Cubert. I found mine at a Goodwill. But, but but I didn't have it, and for a dollar, I said fuck it. I'm gonna pick it up. The average eBay price for uh, for Cubert seven bucks. Yeah, seven bucks. Sold. So, so, you, so I was like, you know what? I don't have it. I'm gonna pick it up. There you go. And and at the yard sale we were at, where we had this smorgasbord. We I got some. I got this at the other, other yard sale too. Yeah. At the yard sale too. Yeah. But this was a totally different yard sale. But uh, I got Who Wants to Be a Millionaire Second Edition, and disregard the twenty four ninety nine. I didn't pay that shit. Pre owned. <laughs> yeah. So Sticker. Who Wants to Be a Millionaire I actually enjoyed this. Actually, yeah. this is actually a game that me and Tyler grew up yeah. playing. And it's, a, it's got a little bit of scratch. It's not too bad. And I enjoyed the Who Wants to Be Me on there on, on TV back in the day with Regis. And uh, that, you know, that's about a $5 game on eBay sold. Yep. But, you know, you picked it up for like a dollar. So. Yeah, a dollar. For a dollar, you're going to pick up a PlayStation game. Come on. Not a bad deal at all. Um, now, I'm on, now, now we're going to show you guys a little more stuff that's worth a little bit more money. Yeah. You know, these were kind of five dollar to ten dollar items that we picked up for you know two to three dollars a piece. Fifty so, cents. At uh, fifty cents, you know, uh, you know anywhere that was over, you know, that was under three dollars, we picked it up. Um, now this stuff surprised us as far as uh, price wise. Yeah. Uh, was so because there were some hidden gems that we got. Uh, the first hidden gem that I got uh, was for the PS2. It's fifty cent bulletproof. Um, this game used to be like a five dollar game, like when it like what, about three or four <clears> years <throat> ago, it used to be like a five dollar game, right? Yeah. I don't know what happened, but apparently this has actually raised in value. I don't know why it has, but this is about a twenty dollar game now on, yeah. on eBay. I have no idea why. That's a shock. Uh, I actually owned this a while back, uh, but I sold it because I didn't really like the game, <laughs> but. Maybe it's because I didn't understand the game either, so that's why I rebought it at this garage sale. And also, we should mention that it is complete. Yep. And uh, the disc is pretty scratched, though. But uh, I could, you know, if it doesn't work, I could get it buffed out for a dollar or two, so it's not an issue. But also, one thing that surprised me as well was when I opened this up, there was a hidden memory card in it. Yeah. And uh, memory cards sell on eBay for like five or six bucks. But if you can find one inside of the game and get it for like two or three dollars, why not do that? Yeah. So uh, it, this went from a twenty dollar game to about a twenty six dollar game, so not a bad deal on that uh, when you have an extra memory card in there. Because I, you, we can always use memory cards. Oh yeah. Uh, especially for the PS2. So twenty dollar game if you guys ever find it out in the wild, especially now in twenty twenty. Uh, maybe some of these games are spiked because some people want to replay these games with the pandemic going on, but is what it is um next one i picked up here uh was with this controller was with with this uh ten dollar uh sega dreamcast controller was this this uh this little beauty uh this is a silver a silver <laughs> dual shot 2 ps2 controller um this is fantastic because uh PS2 controllers are getting harder to find nowadays. Uh, you know, they're they're uh, you know some can be breakable and things of that nature. Uh, this actually is in pretty good condition. Uh, all the buttons seem to work. Uh, I haven't tested it yet, but I will have to clean it, just like I will have to clean that controller. But uh, once I get it looking really good and cleaned up, guys, this a silver PS2 controller could sell on eBay. A, a real one, a DualShock 2, which is what it is. It says DualShock 2 right there. An original PS2 controller, they, they sell for like $20 on eBay, so uh, not bad. And what I did was when I asked her, the lady, how much she wanted for these, she actually gave it to me for $3 a piece. Yeah. So uh, I only paid $6 for $30 worth of controllers, <laughs> so not a bad deal. Um and then, I'm going to show you this one real fast, and then Tommy can show you his yeah. last one. And then I got one little tidbit, uh, and that'll be it for this video. Uh, this is actually something that, uh, kind of a shocker in a way. Uh, it's for the Nintendo Wii. It is Guitar Hero Metallica. Now, I actually really like Metallica. Um, 
they do have a lot of good songs on here, so I'm really looking forward to seeing what else is on here. They also got some other ones on here, too. They got, like, Bob Seger, uh, Judas Priest, Leonard Skinner, which Pops loves Leonard Skinner, Motorhead, Queen, uh, System of the Down. They got a lot of different uh, bands on this one. Open it up. It is complete with manual. Um, because people... A lot of people still like playing Guitar Hero, especially on the Wii. Um, actually on any system, mm -hmm. uh, for that matter. Uh, these, the games are getting harder to find than the fucking guitars and stuff. And, um, this sold on eBay regularly for about 25 bucks. Wow. Kind of a hidden gem if you guys ever find it at a garage sale. I only paid, like, dis disregard the... Five dollar sticker. I only paid like two or three dollars for it. Pretty good deal on that. And then Tommy, <clears throat> what was the last item you picked up there? Well, the last item I picked up was for <coughs> the PlayStation Two. Greatest hits. Yeah, greatest hits. But it doesn't matter. Yeah, it don't really matter. Midnight Club Three Dub Edition Remix. And uh, they came out with the original Midnight Club. Then they came out with a Dub Edition. Then they came out with a Dub Edition Remix. Yeah. What they all differently mean, I have no fucking idea. I don't know either. And it's complete. It is complete with manual. Yep. And right disc too, because it, yeah. it, it, it is the greatest hits. Yeah. Once a little, little scratched up. A little scratched up. I but could probably get it buffed. You can get it buffed out for like two bucks. Yeah, and I'll be all right. Yeah, and I think it will pay like two dollars for it. Yeah. So it was pretty two cheap. Two bucks. Um, that game sells on eBay complete for 25 bucks. $25 for this. Nice little score on that. And then the last little score that we got is this small little thing that fits right into my hand. Which was pretty cool. Uh, and, I, and I only paid like $1.50 for this. <laughs> so I actually got it bundled with, uh, with this uh, Game Boy game. <clears throat> this is something when I seen it first, I snatched it up. Um, because I watch a lot of people that go to garage sales and stuff on eBay and stuff. Well, they go to garage sales and they sell on eBay. Um, and when I was watching one of the one of the videos, this thing popped up and how much it sold for. And then I did an eBay comp on it to see how much it actually did sell for, and it sold for that. Um, this is a Action Replay DS, and it is missing the cord and it is missing the disc that goes with it but this is a little cheap device for the DS and uh, these just the cartridges themselves these sell for like forty dollars on eBay so and I only pay like a dollar fifty for it so a pretty good deal forty bucks for this little thing yeah and of course I really don't want it I just seen it and I've seen that it was worth a little bit of money so it's like fuck it I'm gonna buy it and guys Tommy if we would have bought all this on eBay, yeah, whew, high prices, two hundred and seventy-eight dollars. Yeah, that's a lot of fucking money. That is a lot of fucking money. But Tommy, since we are cheapskates, yeah, and we went to a garage sale, and luckily we found all this stuff. Luckily, because it's not every time we go to garage sales we find a pretty yeah. good haul. You know, we will find a couple things from time to time, but this was a pretty good haul. Yeah. Um. At the at at it, you know at that at that second garage sale you only paid a dollar for that Hubert, yeah. but at the first garage sale we paid sixty two dollars so a total of sixty three dollars, and if you take out the eBay uh, if, if if you take the eBay price and you deduct what we spent at a yard sale, we we saved two hundred and fifteen dollars. Yeah, I know T and Q Potter will take that. Yes, sir. So, guys, go to your garage sales and make sure you guys wear a mask as yeah. well. We did. Yeah, make sure you uh, wear a mask. Make sure you wear a mask. Be safe. Have have uh, hand sanitizer. Yeah, have hand car. sanitizer or wear gloves. Or wear gloves. Just be safe, guys. Um, so, you guys go. Saved $215 at, this, at, at these two garage sales. A pretty good score. Yeah. 
and some pretty good games, stuff to fill out the collection, stuff that I can clean and use and everything else. So hope that you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, make sure you guys give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to share it all over social media. Like us on Facebook, Facebook.com, social Wrestling Rampage 2. Follow us on Twitter at Russell Rampage. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button for more great videos coming to you guys. You can also follow me and Tommy on Instagram. Yes. Because we are that cream that rises to the top. Cream of the crop, and nobody does it better.